Okay, I am registered for my first market and now it's time to get market prepping. Hi friends, happy Saturday. I'm gonna be doing another little weekend vlog with me. I'm so excited. There are so many things I need to get done and I wanna bring you guys along. One of the big updates is that I'm going to be registering for a local market in my area and I'm actually really nervous. <laughs> I don't know. At the beginning of all this, I was thinking like my end goal was to like quit my job and do this full time, but now I'm unsure and I just, I don't know, it's hard for me to like rip the band-aid off and start doing markets and stuff when I'm still unsure, but I am excited. The market is on February 24th and today is February 10th. So I really don't have very much time, but I wanted to do like a market before Easter and this was one that was nearby. It was like the perfect opportunity. So I'm going to go ahead and register here in a minute. I've been doing a ton of research on like business registration and sales tax registration and all of that and I don't know so I'm just gonna register for the market and just figure it out but I really don't know how much inventory I'm gonna be able to bring so I'm gonna bring you guys along on the ride with me and we'll just we'll just see it'll be my first market and we'll just see how it goes and aside from market prepping and registering for this market I also need to pack some orders today and go to UPS and USPS to drop off orders, so I am very busy. Okay, first things first, I have two orders for Etsy that need um, eyes embroidered, so I need to embroider those eyes really quick, and then I need to pack orders. I just packed up a bunch of orders that I'm about to take to USPS and UPS. Um, I didn't take any footage for this video, but I will in the future, I promise. I went ahead and took footage for an Instagram video. So if you're interested in that, just go to my Instagram page. I will pop it up right here. And yeah, let's go to USPS and UPS and get these shipped. Okay guys, it's much later in the day. I was working on Etsy orders all day, so I got all my Etsy orders done. I got product photos of them and I packed them and then I just dropped them off. And so now I'm leaving for a work trip in a few days, but I do have the rest of today, which is Saturday, February 10th, and then the rest of tomorrow and to completely market prep. Like my shop is on vacation mode. So I'm just gonna be market prepping and then I'll be on a trip. And then when I get back, I don't know if I'll turn my Etsy off of vacation mode or not. I think it's just depending on how I'm feeling with market prep. So I want to kind of read you guys what I'm thinking. Okay, here's my list of the animals or patterns that I want to bring to my market. I don't know the amounts yet and I don't know what colors. I, this is my first market and I want it to kind of the color scheme to kind of go together like the whole booth and everything but I know that people like different colors personally I like warm tones I like pinks oranges so I wouldn't want to use any blues but I know people are going to want blue so I don't think I'm going to just limit it I think I'll do some colors of everything especially because it's an easter market so it's like very colorful um, but yeah, I will just read you guys what I'm planning to bring and just know that I don't have the amounts yet that I want to bring. I just don't even know if I'm going to have time to do everything I want to, but yeah. So I want to bring mushrooms and here's a mushroom that I have made. So I want to bring um, several of these, but this is the larger one and I'm thinking I'm going to do a lot more minis. I may do like maybe two larges and then maybe like four or five minis. 
Um, flowers. If I can find like a cute flower pillow, I may just do like one small flower pillow. Bees, I'm not sure. I just didn't love the way my bee turned out that I did a few, like a week ago. So bees is on my list, but it may get knocked off. Frogs, I haven't found a cute frog pattern, but I do want to bring in some frogs. Chickens, I will bring. Chicks, uh, that's one of the snugglers, the loveys that I'll bring. Bunnies, for sure. I'm like looking up a ton of different bunny type patterns. Um, a variation of loveys, so I'm going to try to do at least like five loveys. Um, I already have a few made, so that's good. And I was thinking maybe a little sun pillow could be cute. Some of the smaller dino loveys, I don't have the mini dino pattern, but I'm thinking I might get it. And then some just small dinos that aren't loveys, but actual dino plushies. Some no-so chickens, no-so eggs, um, scrunchies. I've never done scrunchies before, but I think they would be like a fun little thing. And even keychains, I thought too. Octopuses, I have a really cute pattern that I want to do. I think it's like what some people say is a jellyfish, but I've always thought it was an octopus, like in the crochet world, not in real life, as I know which one is which, but so I don't know, but I saw a listing and it was called octopus and it was the one that I thought was an octopus, but other people have called it a jellyfish. I don't know. Um, whales, gnomes, rainbows, so like rainbow pillows or just the little rainbow plushies, and then maybe ladybugs. So that's what I have so far. If you guys think of anything that would have been interesting, because I think when I when I've posted this video the market is going to be over, so it won't help me right now, but it will help me in the future. If you guys think of anything that like I would be forgetting for like a spring market or a summery market, um, drop it in the comments because I would love to hear what you guys think would be like a popular item. Those are the thoughts. I don't know which one I'll start on first, but I want to do some exciting new patterns like the ones on this list just to keep me inspired. So I'm going to go eat and then I'm going to be on the couch for the rest of the night just prepping away. friends happy sunday i am about to eat breakfast i have a little yogurt and some coffee and i'm going to just eat breakfast and relax a little bit while i do that watch some youtube or netflix and then i'm going to get back to prepping i worked yesterday on a few things that i'll show you i thought they were around here somewhere but i think i put them on the shelf and I will show you guys. I also worked this morning already, so it's about 9.15 and I have mostly the whole day to prep, so I'm excited to see what I can get done. Okay guys, an update on a few of the things I've worked on. So last night I tried out this rainbow little mini pillow pattern and it's so cute, oh my gosh. Um, this was the first one I did, and I don't know if you can see, but I did this part in, like, the speckled, um, colored yarn that I got, and I really like it with that speckle there. And then I did blue and purple. I think I should have done another row of the blue instead of two rounds of the purple, but yeah, it's still really cute. Just a lot of purple. You do the single crochet around the edge, so it adds, um, some extra purple, so just looks really thick but look how cute it is so then I went ahead and I was like I'm gonna make another one <laughs> and I did this one and I added some bobble stitches this wasn't in the pattern and so I just freehanded it but I thought it gave it like a cute more like boho look to it and this time I carried the blue um, through two rounds and then I just did one round of the last color with the single crochet border and the bobble stitch so super cute i will definitely be making more of these and they this one which was a little more complex with the bobble stitches took me i think like an hour and 15 minutes i didn't time myself on this one and it was my first time doing it and you got to work in work in a chain so <laughs> i am horrible at working in a chain but i don't know what i'll price them at but we'll do pricing later and then this morning i did a little gnome and this was my first time doing this pattern as well. And the ruffles on the hat, I wanted to be more defined because 
as you can see right now they're just kind of it's just a little roughly but it's not I want it to be like noticeable so I tried kind of doing a different um, pattern for the ruffles than what it says in the in the pattern and maybe I'm just crocheting too tight for the ruffles it is really hard you work three half double crochets into one stitch around the circle and it's just hard to get the hook in there three times and everything so I could be just crocheting a little tight but I tried to loosen it up and then I also did a different um, pattern for this one so I think this one looks a lot better more like how I want it to look but I realized the purple kind of looks like a wizard so I don't know if that'll be weird to people or maybe someone will like it but it looks a little less gnome like but I think it does look better than um, this one so I have two of each of those and then I need to work on some chickens I need to do oh I think yesterday I said I didn't want to do any bees but I actually remembered a bee, a bee pattern that I've been wanting to do and it's by the cozy stitch and they're like the stand-up ones, uh, like the Cozy Buddies or something. And I think I will do a few of those. I haven't done it before. It'll be a new pattern, but it looks easy to work up. And it looks a bit more like it'll be cute with Bernat. Because I feel like the other bees, they just look a lot cuter with like chenille yarn. But I don't really use chenille yarn. So yeah, I think that one will be cuter with Bernat. And a time update, it's 10. I still have so much time, so I'm happy about the progress I'm making. I want to like at least get like maybe like four or five more items done today. I think that's definitely doable. And I forgot to say that I ordered new business cards because my last ones said loops with lens and that lasted like two weeks. So <laughs> I got some more for this market and I actually want to show you guys. So they're from Canva again and this time it said 7 to 14 um, business days again which I was sad about again but they came in like two or three business days. It was crazy. Oh cute. They have a little holder that holds them in place. Okay. Let's see. I'm nervous. Yay. Okay. They actually look really good. Oh, they're so cute. I like these a lot better. And I put the care instructions on the back. And that's kind of... So, one of the things that I knew I needed to get done was business cards for the market. And then um, I needed care instructions and to print separate like note cards or like invitations or memos where I would put the care instructions on them and pack them with every order. Um, it was like $30 for those extra things. Whereas to add a back to my business card was like an additional, I don't know, 10 cents per business card or something. So it wasn't very much. I don't even think it was that much. I, th I think it was like an extra $2 on the order. I don't know. It was like something like super, like it literally made no difference. And I was like, okay, we are going to do that. So I went ahead and did that. And that's a cheap option if you're just starting out and don't really, like you might have to get things redone or you don't know what your system is going to be. Um, this might change in the future. It might not, but it's an easy way to get started. And I'm also thinking instead of like making um, tags that are going to go on my like pricing tags that are going to go on my um, actual crocheted items, I'm probably just going to punch a hole in my business cards and write the price on it um, like manually. And that way they have a business card, they have the care instructions and they have like little tags on them which make them look a little more professional, a little more profesh. Here I'll show you. So if it's like hanging on there, it'll kind of look like that or something. And I think it just looks cute. So I need to order some little like tag loop things or whatever. And I think I need to order a hole puncher. So, and I actually have one more thing that we can unbox together really quick that I haven't even opened and looked at. And I've had it for like a while now. We got a bowl of dragon fruit. I'll eat that in a minute. But this is what... I ordered from Amazon for my booth and I do have to assemble it and then I think 
like traveling to shows while I st still don't have like a lot of stuff, it will be doable because um, I don't want to reassemble every time. But I also know that I won't have a ton of space in the future when I have like more booth set up stuff. So we'll see. But for now, this felt like an easy way to elevate my table and also be cute. It wasn't that expensive. So I just went with it, you know, and then I'll probably get a few of the crates that you see a lot of people use and stack those. Um, this show is super, like, kind of last minute for me, and I'm super busy, so I'm just trying to keep it manageable. So this is one thing that I got. I just finished some bees and I'm kneeling on my floor so that's why this is kind of weird but uh, my tripod is not high enough to sit in my chair and I don't feel like adjusting it because I'm about to leave so I just wanted to pop in real quick and show you guys here are the bees I made my boyfriend is vacuuming which is lovely so I'm not gonna complain um, but yeah, look how cute. This is the first one I did with like the first time I did the pattern at all. And honestly, it was so easy. I was like really happy about that. I made this one a little bit tighter just because I felt like this one was like a little bit elongated. So I tried with a bit more tension and trying to film. Thank you. Thanks, Just give me two minutes. You can come back and do it. <laughs> um, and I like it better. It's more like a little ball or like very round. So yeah, they look super cute and really easy. The wings are like a little eh on the back, but really easy. So I timed myself with this one just because I was curious. It took me 38 minutes, guys. That's so good. And I feel like I could sell these for like... 15 and for like 35 minutes of time that's really really good so definitely try these for your market if you haven't um tried the pattern yet super easy so now that that's done i have two gnomes two rainbows two bees and i'm moving right along it is 120 i have yarn on me always um i'm about to go for a walk because it's sunny out i just feel like i should spend some time outside and then maybe I'll do like a little refresh like maybe I'll maybe I'll wash my face and like shower and stuff I don't know I'm just feeling a little like ugh. um but yeah that's where I'm at we're gonna go for a walk we already went outside and went for a walk this morning but it's just nice out and I feel like I should get out so I will pop back on in a little bit hopefully I can get a few more things done today and it will be a successful day of market prep Hi guys, it's still Sunday. It's pretty late now. It's six o'clock and I wanted to check in. I just finished doing a little frog. Look how cute he is. Oh my, he's so chubby. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I had been putting off frogs because I really wanted like a light green color and I really wanted a chubby one. And I was having a hard time finding one, but this is the perfect pattern and I ended up doing like a bluish green. On camera it looks pretty green but these are like more green it's it's a little bit blue but I still like it and I'm gonna do some others in the darker greens and if I find a light green in the next couple of weeks then I will use that as well I might add some blush and oh it's just so cute um let's see and then the other two things I finished since I last checked in um are this little mushroom and you can't tell as much on camera but it's the speckled yarn so it just looks a little bit majestic and then in the same yarn I did an octopus or a squid um, yeah super cute this actually took me a really long time I mean not super long it took me like an hour and 15 minutes 
I just, it, it didn't take me that long, but it was pretty tedious. I really struggled to work in a chain and it just hurts my hands more than, you know, crocheting a large area that's a bit quicker and not as, like I just kept missing the stitch or I couldn't get into the stitch on the chain or I would pull through and it would come out. It was just, yeah, I had to redo it a few times and it just ended up hurting my hands, but he's cute. Oh my gosh, guys, it is 5.45 and I do usually wake up pretty early. I usually wake up at 5 or even 4 sometimes. Um, but since I was crocheting for so long yesterday and the day before, I thought I would just like relax in bed this morning. I do typically crochet before work um, and after work, but I was like, I'll just give myself a break and I am going on a work trip tomorrow, so I need to pack tonight after work. So I was like, I'll just give myself a break, but <laughs> I was laying in bed. And I was like, you know, I probably should like actually look at the calendar and like plan this out. In my head this whole time, guys, I was going on a work trip from like the 14th to like the 18th. And the 18th, I think, is a Sunday. This whole time in my head, <laughs> I was convinced that I have a week in between my work trip and the craft show like a weekend in between and I was like I'm gonna finish prepping on that weekend no <laughs> I literally will leave this week and I will get back this weekend probably on Sunday and the craft show is the weekend after that so I do not have a weekend in between so now that was a wake-up call <laughs> I like jumped out of bed and was like okay every other minute besides packing like before and after work has to be crocheting and I wasn't going to crochet on my work trip I am driving with my bosses <laughs> which may sound weird to other people but that's what we do and I don't know I just feel like so weird crocheting around them but it may have to be done it just may have to be done so anyway I gotta get going it's 5 45 I think I'm just gonna try to knock out some chickens those are nice and easy I know how to do them and I'm probably just going to do all their bodies. I'm not even going to stuff or so right now. And then um, we'll just see how many of those I can get done right now. Okay guys, it is 6.52, so it's been about exactly an hour since I started, and I try to be really good and go downstairs um, in the mornings at 7 and eat breakfast before we go, so I could keep crocheting, but I do need to eat. <laughs> um, so I was able to get three chicken bodies done, and I actually timed myself on them, um, I was a little bit late starting the timer on these two. This one I started it exactly when I started crocheting and when I ended and it took me 19 minutes. This is a little kind of speckled one and then I've got a speckled like peppered one and then a tan one. So if the bodies take me 19 minutes I can definitely knock out um, several of those every day before work or after work and I I think like I'm not gonna have a problem with small stuff but I was hoping to bring quite a few loveys to the show um, I think like we'll set my goal of being like maybe like five loveys I was hoping at least five but I'm also having a hard time picking like which five um, I think I should definitely bring a dino because that one's always really popular I have a bear made already I have a chick made already I have a mallard made already I believe yeah, so maybe I'll I'll hit five. I I probably will even hit even more than five. Um, I want to do more mushrooms. I haven't done any octopuses yet. Well, I I did that squid type octopus thing. Um, what else? I bought the whale pattern from Oak and Marlowe. Is there yarn in my hair? What's guys? If there's ever anything on me, it's probably yarn. So don't judge me. 
Um, I bought the Oak and Marlowe whale pattern, the new one that she created, and I tend to do this, like when I first look at patterns, I get a little overwhelmed when it's from like a new creator or it just works in a different way than what I'm used to. So I was a little overwhelmed looking at it, but I literally will just glance at it and then I'll just like exit out. <laughs> and then every time when I actually sit down and just force myself to start doing it, it's not that hard. So I think that's how it's going to be with the whale. I saw a bunch of people saying it was like an easy market make, but then I saw that like the fins are in a chain and the belly is worked separately, which I thought, and it's like this shape. I, I thought that was super weird, but I'm sure it won't be that hard. I just need to sit down and do it. So I've been putting that one off. Let's look at the list. Oh, and I've also been recording how long it takes me to create one of the plushies. So right now I have like a little list in my phone um, with the, the bigger octo that I did, the frogs, the mushrooms, the bees, and the chicken bodies I just added. So that'll be helpful when we do pricing later. Some sort of bunnies. I want to do a bunny lovey for sure. I mean like ideally it's an Easter market so I'd have a bunch of bunny loveys, like three or four. That's not a bunch but that's as many as I can only go so fast. Um, but I also thought like some smaller bunnies. So I do have the beady bunny pattern by Oak and Marlowe. I'll probably do a few of those. And then I also saw those bunny loafs. And I want to get that pattern and do a few of those. Some smaller dinos, like not dino loveys, but just some like little dino plushies would be cute and easy. I haven't done any scrunchies. And wow, I've actually gone through a lot of these. I probably won't do ladybugs um, unless I have a bunch of extra time but I think at this point I won't. Like a sun pillow or a flower pillow I really want to do but I was about to buy the flower pillow pattern but literally for the same exact reason that I just said about the whale pattern it's like when it's from a new creator I get a bit nervous about the way that it's written and the technique that they use like if it could be in a magic ring I don't want to do it in in uh, a chain. I don't. <laughs> I have zero interest. So I think some people that come from chaining, like making blankets and stuff, prefer to do it in a chain. So that's how they start. They don't like the magic ring. I like the magic ring. So I don't like when patterns are written in chains if they could be in a magic ring. So it just makes me a bit nervous. I'm a bit nervous to buy the flower pattern because it's from a creator that I don't know. And I think it probably could be in a chain. So We'll see. Uh, we will see if I do that. But yeah, we're honestly, we're looking pretty good. I think my goal for chickens should probably be like maybe eight. I have three done, so it'd be five more. And then loveys, we're thinking about five. All right, well, sorry for looking like I just rolled out of bed, but I literally did. <laughs> and that's probably how the vlog is going to be from here on out because... I don't have a weekend. I don't have another weekend of market prep and I thought I did. So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to be crushing the car on the way to work. I won't be driving. <laughs> I work with my boyfriend so he will be driving. I'll be crocheting every minute of every day and we'll see how much we can get done. I think I will see you guys when I get back from my trip and we will have less than a week till the market. <laughs> oh my god. I'm going to have some late nights coming up. Hi guys! Oh my gosh, it's been so long since I have popped on here. I think the last update was before I went on my work trip, so I'm back. I actually ended up getting sick and I had a fever and I was off of work for a few days, so it has not been what I wanted it to be in terms of prep, but I feel like that's how it always goes. Things always come up, you're always busy, so it is... Thursday um, and the show the I'm gonna say show a lot because I go to trade shows for work so in my head I say like the show is coming up but the craft market is coming up this weekend on Saturday <laughs> so I mean I have less than two days and yeah I will show you guys what I've prepped it's not nearly enough but we will see how much I can get done in these next two days I don't know what I've shown you guys and what I haven't shown you guys at this point. I think I've shown you guys most of this stuff, but I will just recap really quick. 
So I have two rainbow pillows. One has like the little bobble border and one doesn't. And then I have two, they're a little bit like squished and stuff because I have them sitting together on a, you know, stacked. So they look weird, that's why. Two chubby bumblebees. Two gnomes. One sleepy like octopus squid, whatever you would call it. I think it has like six tentacles. So <laughs> I don't even think it's either. And then I have three chubby frogs in different colors. I got this color uh, later in a shipment of Premiere that I ordered. So I would have made more of this color, but I started with these because I didn't have any like light green. So yeah, I think he is the cutest, but I like them all together and they're really chubby <laughs> little frogs. I want to add blush and possibly a little smiley face, but like I have left all the embroidering for the last minute and I'm like still crocheting pieces as well. So I just don't even know what, like if I'm gonna have time to do things or not, but we'll see. I have one little mushroom with kind of a rainbow speckle. Two bunnies. And this is an Easter market. So I wanted to have a lot more bunnies, um, but I don't have that much, like to do the loveys, you need a, a, you know, a bit of yarn of that color and I'm running really low on a lot of my colors so I'm a bit nervous to start on more loveys. And then I also wanna have a good variety because I really don't know what's gonna sell the best. Like this is my first market, so. And then I have two bears. And they're, oh, these might be my favorite. They're really cute. I have a mallard. I have a dragon. And then I am working on a purple dino because I have no dinosaurs. And then I have, I think five chickens. I think that's where we left off right before I left for my trip. Um, and I have sewn them together halfway, but I still need to do the beaks and the eyes on some of them. So I haven't finished sewing them together yet. I also have, and they're downstairs, so I'm not going to go get them right now. But I have two of the beady bunnies from the Oak and Marlowe pattern. Um... That also need like their eyes embroidered, but they're, you know, sewn together and they're downstairs with some of the chickens. So that's what I have. And ideally I want to bring octopuses or octopi that I haven't even started on yet. I want to bring at least one dinosaur. So that's what I'm working on now. I wanted to do some smaller like plushy dinos that were like, you know, this big or something. Um, and I haven't got to that. I think ideally I would want more mushrooms and possibly more bees. I feel like the bees are really cute and easy. And even more frogs maybe, but I don't know. It's just something, maybe like the frogs and the bees I could do while I'm there. And I should try to focus on the loveys right now because those are a little bit harder to do like while you're at the show. The frog, you know, it's just a really easy, simple, quick pattern. So... That's where I'm at. I'm going to get to work tonight and then I have one night left and tomorrow I need to like pack up for the show and like get everything together. And then I also need to tag items with like pricing and everything. And yeah, I think there was another thing. I, oh, and I need to finish all the eye embroidery on the ones that I want to embroider eyes on and like the details and stuff. So I think I'm gonna be up late either tonight or tomorrow night or both, <laughs> but. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys an update and I will see you guys tomorrow and it's almost the big day. Hi guys, it's Friday. There's one day until the market. I mean, not even, just a few hours and I just got home from work. I'm in my comfy clothes and I am ready to get crocheting and get all of this stuff done that needs done. So last night I started working on this purple dino and he needs his ends sewn in and then he needs his spikes or she and um i don't know if i'm gonna embroider eyes on her yet i mean some of the loveys i feel like they look fine without eyes like they look minimal and kind of like it's like 
not weird and then some of them I feel like they look a bit weirder um, I think the dino does look okay but I think I might end up adding eyes we'll see and then um, I just finished right now the body <laughs> literally there's yarn everywhere <laughs> the body of a blue dino um, so I also need to sew in the ends and then put the tail on and do the spikes so that's the two main things I'm working on right now and then I have to embroider the eyes on a lot of the animals um I'm just looking around to see like what I have most of my chickens I don't really have the right eye size because I lost the backs to my smaller safety eyes like they were in a ziploc bag and I lost them a few weeks ago I just haven't found them so I think I'm gonna have to embroider most of the eyes on my chickens which is going to be very interesting because I feel like they just look better with the chickens with the plastic eyes so we'll see I have a few um woobles kits I can pull eyes from and stuff like that we just will see so I'm going to finish up these two dinos and then we will check in after that. I need to price everything and tag everything tonight. I just had my boyfriend Colton who is so sweet for helping me and he's going to come to me with the, he's going to come with me to the market tomorrow and I just had him help me like pull out um some of the stuff that I'm bringing like in terms of like storage and stuff like that. So we're getting ready and then we're going to get change in the morning and maybe some coffee and just see how the day goes. I'm done with the dinos. They are so cute. These are my first um, of the mini dinos of the Mama Made Minis pattern. I've always had the, I think it's called the Tiny Saurus or... Yeah, I think that's the one that I have and it comes out more like these are more like probably about 12 inches the ones I do come out more like 15 or so and like the head is much bigger on those I mean everything's bigger but <clears throat> but yeah they're so cute I don't know you can't tell super well but I did the purple dinos um spikes in like a speckled yarn so it's like a pinkish, bluish, purple speckles. Um, and I mean, it, it looks kind of white, but you can see some speckles in it. And then I did the blue in the white spikes. And they're just so cute. I'm so happy with how they turned out. And I hope they sell well. I wasn't even, like, a few days ago when I was, like, counting what I had, I wasn't even planning to bring dinos. And then I was like, okay, I have to bring some. Like, they're just so adorable. So... I hope they do good and now now it is 6 30 and if you guys don't know I go to bed super early um, but I assume tonight I'm gonna be up I haven't even started pricing or anything and I still need to crochet more items but I think I'm gonna go ahead and stitch up the remainder of my chickens and like do their eyes and stuff so that's all done okay guys it's eight o'clock and I finished let's see these two bunnies faces so I embroidered their eyes and their noses um, I did different noses I just really couldn't get this nose to look right as a V so um, but yeah they're cute I didn't have fur yarn so they just have white little tails and I want to do more of them but <laughs> just there's not enough time for everything that I want to do so I I'm narrowing it down but I finished two of those and those are the two that I have I finished um, all of the chickens like facial features so I embroidered this one's eyes and um, I did like a bright red comb I am out of like my pink I usually use like a mauve kind of color for the comb um, but I am out of that so I had to kind of what's the word when you whatever I had to use other colors I can think of the word improvise <laughs> um, so I have five chickens this one has a red wool yarn comb which I thought might be cute it's kind of like a darker red this one's like a really bright true red and then let's see I have a peppered chicken 
This is actually orange, so it's Orange Leaf by Bernat, and it just kind of adds some different tones, you know? And then I have a little speckled chicken. I don't know if you can tell, but it's like some orangish yellow speckle yarn, and then I used the last bit of mauve pink on his comb. And then... I have a little tan one with, I believe that's mauve as well. Um, so yeah, none of these chickens turned out super good. None of them I'm super happy with, but I don't know. Like there's just something wrong with every single one. Um, sometimes I can get, like this one, the eye is like caving in and I just don't really know why that happened, but... If I pull, like if I push my needle in and like pull that area out, like kind of comes back out. But yeah, I don't know. It's really weird. So this side is caving in a little bit too, but not nearly as bad as that side. So it doesn't look too bad if it's like sitting out. Um, but if it's facing forward, it looks like it has no eyes. So I will just... We'll see. The chickens are super easy to make and I don't know, sometimes they just turn out a little funky. I was surprised this one actually turned out okay because I embroidered the eyes and I was a little bit like nervous how it would be, but it doesn't look too bad. I finished this little guy, which I think is so cute. Um, I might end up doing more of these, so I don't know if you can tell. It was already done, but I added the blush and it's just a chubby little frog and this was like a super quick, easy pattern, so I might try to do some more tonight of those and I have two more frogs that I want to add blush to and then I'm done with like the facial features of the ones I wanted to do. Mushrooms, octopi, and frogs I think will be my next move and then I need to price and tag everything, pack up, go to bed. I don't think I've updated you guys but I was in earlier in this video I was sick and I had just got back from my work trip and it's literally been like I got back on Sunday, today's Friday I am sick again or I'm still sick and it never went away but like it kind of went away for two days and like I'm definitely sick again so that's rough it is rough okay guys I'm in my floor and I am about to price this stuff so my office is like a disaster and usually I would probably do this at my desk my desk is covered in plushies and yarn and like scraps so we're on the floor and I have my business cards um can yeah that's the front and then this is the back and the back has the care instructions so that was like a easy way that I found to kind of do both in like a costly manner so I'm going to try to punch a hole through this without um, getting in the way of any of the care instructions and then that's where I'm going to put a little like tag holder through and then I'm going to write the price probably on the front of my business card. So each one will be tagged, each one will have my business card, each one will have the care instructions. Um, that's just what I'm doing for this craft market. This is my first one so I didn't want to like do anything crazy. So that's just what we're going to do for this time.
okay my camera died but um i have actually way more than i thought i did um so i have these lovies i don't think i showed you guys but i had these already made so i have two bears and a chick and then this is all it's like a disaster but stuff that i had already shown you guys i don't think i showed you those dinos but i put those in there and these then i went and i pulled out some old stuff so i have like a little cow a moose a deer this blue egg bunny and then i'm gonna have like a basket to just like grab and it's probably like they're all gonna be like five or eight dollars and they're just like old ones that i did testing out patterns or like when i first started crocheting so like i don't think i'm gonna tag them because there's so many of them um but they're probably just gonna be like five dollars if they're small or maybe even less and then like eight dollars if they're bigger i'll probably tag this guy because he's actually pretty good but i have a few chickens in here that i might tag as well but some other really random stuff. Happy Saturday, guys. Today is the day of the market. We are all packed, the car is packed, and I'm just gathering up a few last minute things and then we're gonna get going. Okay, guys, we are on the way. We had a whole mess with getting cash this morning, but it is figured out, kind of, and I am crocheting a frog while we drive and I think we'll be there soon. Colton's driving. Sunday, so it's the day after the market and yesterday after the market I just came home and relaxed and then I also relaxed today just important to get some rest after the crazy week weekend weeks I've been having um, but I want to do a little bit of catch up with you guys and tell you guys kind of how the market went and what I sold what I didn't um, so the market overall I thought was really good. It was my first one and I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. I met a lot of nice people. I gave out some business cards to people. People were really nice. I didn't get any rude comments, all of that. Uh, my boyfriend Colton came with me because I was like a little bit nervous. It being my first one just like about setup and everything and he was so helpful. In the future, I feel more confident to be able to do it by myself. Um, a little bit of background on the market. I came to this market as a shopper just to kind of scope it out, uh, like the type of market that it was and the vendors a few weeks before I uh, applied for this one. So I had been to the venue before and I kind of knew what to expect. There were two wings and I was on uh, this wing and I was not in the main room of that wing, but I was like in a back room that was kind of just like a long hallway and it was like lined up. Um, so I definitely don't think it was the best location because you have to just like go through a little side door in the main room and I feel like some people kind of miss it. Um, I missed it personally when I was a shopper, but I was in a big rush. I had like lunch with a friend and I was just kind of rushing through. So 
I don't know, but overall foot traffic was pretty good. I mean, for an indoor market and having been at this market before, I wasn't expecting anything crazy, but like there were a good amount of people. So I made most of my sales in the morning and then from like noon to three, it was pretty slow. I'm gonna go through like what I brought and I will also, when I tell you what I brought, I will tell you what sold and then what didn't. So I brought two dinosaur loveys and both of those sold. They were like the mini dinos that I did the night before. Uh, the navy blue one sold before the event started to another vendor. And then the purple one sold, you know, late morning. And they both sold for $40. And then I brought two bunny loveys. And the tan one sold for $40 and the blue one did not sell, but it was super cute. I brought one Mallard Lovey. It did not sell. Got a lot of comments, got a lot of touching, but did not sell. And I brought a Chick Lovey. Same thing. A lot of comments, a lot of touching, didn't sell. I brought two Bear Mama Made Mini Loveys, like with the knotted legs. And neither of them sold, but they were really, really cute on the table. And then I brought two neutral knots uh, bears, so like the ones that aren't necessarily like the loveys. I don't know, to me the loveys are more like blanket style, so they have like the knotted legs or the knotted body. But I think really it means they're not stuffed, but who knows. So the neutral knots ones without the knotted legs, more of a traditional teddy bear. Uh, one of those sold. The green one sold and I brought two of them so the dark blue one did not sell. And then I brought four frogs and one of the frogs sold for $12. I brought two bees and both of the bees sold uh, $12 each. I brought two mooses and the gray one sold. The brown one did not and the gray one sold for 22. And then I brought a basket of stuff that I did when I was earlier on, like learning to crochet. I wasn't expecting to sell anything, but I thought maybe some kids would, would be like, oh, I really want something and I could give them something cheap. But honestly, a lot of adults actually bought from that basket and I just, I'm really, I have high standards and I personally probably wouldn't buy something from there, but people did. Um, I don't know if it's because like, when you see something expensive and then you see a cheap, like someone pull out something cheaper, then you instantly are like, oh, I'll take that. But it was weird. So people bought, I brought one deer in there that had a bit of facial, I re-embroidered her eyes like 15 times. I was practicing eye embroidery and her face was like a little bit deformed because of the stuffing moved around. And then she had a little bit of black mark uh, on her white face from the black yarn. I sold her for 12 and the lady was thrilled. Um, I sold a mini white duck that I did when I was learning to crochet and she was honestly pretty cute. I sold her for five dollars. Um, a cow that is the cozy stitch cow pattern and just one that I was learning but honestly looked pretty good. Uh, twelve dollars for her and then I sold in this basket a pink bunny that I did when I was practicing a pattern and I just didn't like the way her face turned out. So I sold the pink bunny for 15. The lady was thrilled. That was it for the basket. And then I sold two, uh, I brought, no, I brought two beady bunnies, uh, like the little mini chubby bunnies. Um, and I sold one blue one to a little girl that was like super excited. And then this is more kind of stuff that didn't sell. So I brought two gnomes and neither of them sold. I brought two rainbow mini like rainbow pillows and neither of them sold. I brought uh, two mushrooms, one small and one large, neither of them sold. I brought one uh, octopus squid thing. I don't know which, which one it is. It doesn't have uh, enough tentacles to be either, I don't think. Um, with the sleeping eyes and it did not sell but there was a lady that kept coming back and looking at it and I knew she wanted it but she didn't end up getting it oh and I priced that one at 28 because the curly tentacles take me a while working in a chain like that so 
might have been a little expensive and I probably wouldn't make the pattern again. I'm just not good at working in a chain like that. So we'll see. Hey guys, I brought six chickens and none of them sold. So this is interesting because I hear from a lot of other people that do markets that like their chickens are the best selling thing, but I didn't sell any. I got quite a few comments like, oh, that's, these chickens are so cute or oh my gosh, they have chickens or oh, so-and-so would love that. You know, probably someone who likes chickens. Uh, I got a few comments saying they would come back and get the chickens, but they didn't. And there actually was another vendor there doing uh, crochet plushies, but she has a bit of a different aesthetic than me and didn't have any loveys. But she did have a few like mini uh, chickens. And then I brought another lovey that I just thought of was my dragon lovey and it didn't sell. Guys, I'm realizing when I looked at it just recently and I didn't put the ears on the dragon lovey. So that was just completely my oversight. And maybe that's why it doesn't look a whole lot like a dragon. <laughs> And then while I was actually sitting there, I crocheted, um, well, I crocheted another frog, but I included that in the count of four, but I crocheted another bunny lovey because a lot of people were asking if I had any like girly colors because I had a tan and a blue one. Um, so I went ahead and crocheted a purple bunny lovey while I was there. I finished closer to the end. Um, when it was really slow, but I do have that one and it didn't sell. And then I brought two chubby dinos that I already just kind of had hanging out. Um, and neither of those sold. Okay, and I think that's everything. So um, I had quite a bit that sold, but also there were definitely some things I thought would sell better or more of, like the frogs or the little things, and I didn't sell that much. Um, general consensus, I feel like the loveys got a lot of attention. Um, I had a lot of people walking by and being like, oh, I wish I had a baby or I wish I had grandkids and oh, do you know anyone that's having a baby shower? Like talking to their friend um, and a lot of touching them and being like, that's so sweet. While people just didn't really look at the smaller stuff unless they were interested in purchasing, but they definitely looked at the loveys even if they didn't want to purchase. So that was something interesting. It drew people in. Um, and then I definitely was surprised I didn't sell more smaller stuff, but I would definitely recommend bringing like cheap stuff and bringing it out for those people that are like, oh, you can tell they like kind of sit around and hang out and they want to buy something, but they don't, they, it's too expensive. Those people were my easiest sells on the stuff from that basket. Like they were like, yes, $10, I'll take it. And then definitely a few options for, for like kids. I mean, I know that all my stuff is geared towards kids, but it's mostly adults making the purchase of the lovies for someone, for a child, for another adult, for their child. Um, but there were kids at the event that were other vendors' children and they, uh, I think two of them bought from me. So just to, you know, have a variety. Um, I just say these things, I know it's my first market, but these are the kind of the things that I learned and I watch other people's videos to try and see like what I should bring to my market. I'm sure you guys might find that kind of information useful. So overall, I made $215 and that's not profit. That is just, you know, how much I sold. Um, so the booth fee was $125 and I felt like that was a bit high for what it was. I mean, it's an indoor show. It's pretty small foot traffic is not that crazy and honestly the shows like social media could be a lot better in my opinion so I felt like it was pretty high but I am in the Chicago suburbs so cost of living is a bit higher um foot traffic is a bit higher at events like this and I'm a bit closer to venues so it's a bit more convenient for me so it's hit or miss but I kind of thought like 75 would be more fair um, so with that being said, you know, I made what 90, $90, I think. Um, and when you take in the account, take into account, like the amount of skeins of yarn, you know, I bought because I needed different colors and stuff. It's basically nothing. I still have a bunch of yarn left over that I bought for the market, but since I needed such a variety of colors, it's, you know, I basically had to go out and buy a bunch of new skeins of colors for the market. Um, I will definitely do more markets in the future. I thought it was so fun and people really did like my stuff. I definitely would have more uh, inventory. This was like super chaotic and I just wanted to kind of get my toes wet and do one for Easter while it was here. You know, I missed all the fun holidays. I mean, not that Easter's not fun, but there's not a lot of big holidays, you know, coming up later this year during summer and stuff that I can really sell for or make inventory for. So I just thought it was fun to do a little themed one. 
and yeah i definitely next time will bring way more inventory like there's way more things and variety of things that i want to bring like i even want to do some baby blankets more baby stuff just a bunch of different stuff i definitely want to bring more lovies i am looking forward to that uh to be honest outdoor markets kind of scare me a little bit just like with the tent situation and the weights and everything i get a bit nervous so i'm not sure that i'll do any outdoor markets this year it may be something like i just really get used to indoor this year and then i do some outdoor next year but yeah i definitely had a good time and i met some other vendors and honestly i didn't really spend anything on my booth setup and i was pretty happy with like my t layout of my table and stuff for not really spending any money on it the only thing i spent money on was like that little bamboo uh thing that i built earlier in this video and the like wooden crates i already had so that was really lucky and i had like the fabric that i laid out on some sections of the table and i had the little garlands so it ended up being a little mod podge but i was happy it was stuff i already had and i could just make it work and get different stuff in the future so i think that's it and i hope you guys enjoyed this video if there's anything in this video i didn't include um, or you're still wondering you can obviously leave it in the comments and then if it's just tips for next time I do a craft market video something that I missed uh, I would love to hear that as well leave it in the comments and I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me in this video if you're not subscribed feel free to subscribe I'm definitely going to be doing more markets in the future I do a lot of crochet videos kind of vlog style stuff and I would love to have you guys and I hope that you guys are all doing super well and good luck at your markets good luck with your crochet and I will see you guys in the next video